that is unshakable. Let us be thankful and please God by worshipping him with holy fear and awe. For our God is a devouring fire. I just think that is so amazing and powerful. I listened, I, I read that this morning and I thought, wow, our God is a devouring fire. That is just absolutely sensational. So church, stand with us as we worship. I want to encourage you to just give God your all this morning. As we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. God, you reign forever, our hope, our strong deliverer, you are the everlasting God, the everlasting God, you do not fight, you As we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait our God, our God, you reign forever, our hope, our strong deliverer, our God, you reign forever. God, our God, you reign forever, our hope, our strong deliverer, our God, you reign forever, our hope, our strong deliverer, our God, our God, you reign forever. Forever, our God, you reign forever. 
my hope is found he is my light my strength my song this cornerstone this solid ground firm through the fiercest drought and storm what heights of love what depths of peace when fears are stilled when striving cease my comforter my all in all here in the love of christ i stand Christ alone, who took on flesh. And righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save. Till on that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God. Final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever grab me from his hand till he returns. Oh, most be here in the power of.
till he returns. Oh, what calls me home? Here in the power of Christ, I stand. See that last verse, that last verse, I don't know how many of us are doing maturity in Christ, um, maturity matters. And in our group, we've just finished um, lesson. And then no scheme of man is, no matter what somebody says to you, or they, how they behave to you, it's not going to deter you from the path that God has laid out. I.e. meaning, as we continue going on, we get to loving our fellow brother and sister as Christ has asked us, has told us to do that. Amen, church? So when I was singing that and I was just feeling that, I'm telling myself no power in hell and no scheme of man is going to pluck me from his hand, meaning I am not going to fall in sin. That's my choice. It's my choice to deter. It's my choice to do that thing, sin. It's my choice. It's my choice. And church, I just want us to know that it's your choice to turn away from that sin. It's your choice to say, I'm leaving it at the foot of Christ. Because why? Christ's blood has washed me. Christ, Christ's blood has made me clean. He's made me whole again. It means that I can bravely and boldly come into the throne room of God. Are we able to do that, church? Are we able to walk the path that God has laid out for us through the blood of Jesus Christ? We're going to sing that. We're going to sing that with some power. We're going to sing it like, yes. We're going to stomp on no power we're going to stomp on no scheme of man and we're going to walk that walk amen church i 
begin to worship him. His presence is here, church. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. is my daily bread your very word this is the this is the air I breathe. Your holy presence. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread, your very word spoken to me. This is my 
my daily bread. God told me to ask you a question and he said are you desperate for me are you if you're desperate for him tell him right now call out to him and tell him tell him that you are desperate for him tell him tell him that you're lost without him that you need his presence that you need his guidance Call out right now in your place. Tell him. Because he is not a daddy who is going to leave you lost and alone. He is never going to do that. He is going to pick you up. He's going to bend down and put you on his shoulders when you can't continue on your own. He's going to take your hand and guide you. But you have to want it. You have to say, Daddy God, I need you this morning. Daddy God, I want you. I want your presence. We've been singing this morning that He is the defender of the weak. That he's our comforter. We've sung that no scheme of man can pluck me from his hands. That is something to be celebrated, guys. There is nothing, nothing that can take you from him. But we have a decision. We have a choice. We have to say, Lord, I want you. I'm going to follow you. I am going to go with you no matter what. We sung, let the praise rise from the inside of me. Set me on fire. Come fill my life from the inside. All I want is for you to be glorified. Is that what you want? 
because that is what our daddy God has for each and every person here he has that for us and I just want to urge you this morning that as we come out of worship you take this away and for the rest of the day for the rest of the week for the rest of your life that you continue to call out and say daddy God I want you I need you in my life and he is going to come down and he's going to scoop you up and he's going to hold you close I'm never going to leave you alone to face something. You know, we could always stay in this place, couldn't we? But you have the opportunity to stay in this place every moment of every day. But it is an act of our will. It's an act of our will to decide, am I going to feel sorry for myself in this situation? Am I going to be afraid? Or am I going to say, Daddy God, I need you right now? For me, that is the choice that I had to make this morning. I had to make that choice. Father, I thank you that you are never going to leave us. That you constantly have your arm outstretched to each of us, urging us to come closer to you. Father, thank you for your love, for your presence. And thank you that you are more than enough for each and every one of us. That there is nothing in our lives that is too big for you. Amen. It's like tantalizing you guys. It's like you just keep playing and I'm like, oh, 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 oh. But we can't. So... We just want to say thank you for um, preparing your hearts and leading us into God's presence in such an amazing way. We have such an incredible worship uh, band and team in Lifespring. So, yeah, thank you very much.